Let's solve problem 31. Well, first thing to do is to draw the free body diagram. So I'll draw a little dot here for the eraser. We know that the force of gravity is acting on it because it has mass and we're on a planet. Specifically, we're on Earth. We also know that he's pushing the eraser against the wall with a force of 20 newtons. So I'll draw that this way, and that's 20 newtons. Well, we know the eraser is not accelerating. Heck, it's not even moving. Therefore, there has to be forces equal and opposite to those two in order to balance and, and therefore have no acceleration in both the x and the y. What are those forces? Well, we know the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. So that has to be the normal force, and it balances him pushing with 20 newtons into the wall. Well, what could possibly be balancing the force of gravity? It must be friction. Friction is always parallel to the direction of motion or would-be motion. Voila! There's our free body diagram for the eraser. Well, now let's answer the questions. Part B, what is the normal force acting on the eraser? Well, again, it has to balance out the 20 newtons going inward. So it's 20 newtons in the, in the other direction, that is to the left. Well, what is the frictional force equal to? Well, that is in the y direction, and it must balance out gravity. We could write some of the forces in y equals 0, and we know we have friction minus the force of gravity equals 0. Or we can just look at the free body diagram and the fact that it's not moving and know that these two have to be equal. So the friction force is equal to the force of gravity, which is mass times the acceleration of gravity, and that's equal to uh, 0.5 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared, which is 5 newtons. Excellent. Part D asks, what is the maximum mass the eraser could have and still not fall? So in other words, how much mass can the frictional force support? Well, we know the force of static friction is less than or equal to mu s times the normal force. Well, if we want to know the maximum mass, let's take, let's take the maximum possibility, which would be this equals mu s times the normal force. So plugging things in, we know that the, the static friction is 0 0.8. It's not moving, so we want to use 0 0.8. If it was moving, then we'd use the 0.6 value up top. We know the normal force is 20 newtons. That's equal to 16 newtons. And if we set the force of gravity equal to 16 newtons, that tells us that mg would equal 16 newtons. Knowing that g is 10 meters per second squared, that gives us a mass that is a maximum mass it could have without falling of 1.6 kilograms. Excellent. And now we just have the last question. What would happen if the wall and the eraser were both frictionless? Well, what would happen is he would need to slant his arm upward, thereby giving a y component to his force, which could then balance the force of gravity. Excellent.